Manatee County investigators need your help finding 20-year-old Horatio Papillion. They say he's a person of interest in Saturday's shooting in Bradenton. Two cars exchanged at least seven rounds of bullets in front of this home in the 2600 block of 36th Avenue West around 11 a.m. One of the bullets went through a window and hit a four-year-old boy in the head, leaving him blind in one eye. How does a child on a Saturday morning not equate that time of day and those circumstances anywhere they go the rest of their life with the threatening circumstance? How does the mother ever take comfort in walking through the threshold of the door feeling safe inside her house? Dr. Robert Sikta serves as reverend at the Congregational United Church of Christ. The family where the victim lives rents their home from the church. The house and church sit on the same plot of land. Those who know the family who live here say they've only been in the home since about March. That's why they say they're doing everything they can to stand behind them in the toughest of times. They are, they are extremely cordial. They truly care about their child. Uh, and again, they're good tenants and good neighbors. Investigators initially thought that the house might have been a deliberate target. Now they think the home and the family inside were just caught in the crossfire between a street fight just outside. The boy's mother is devastated. She's traumatized and, you know, she's thinking it had to do with possibly something and, you know, it really turned out where it didn't. Police continue to canvass the neighborhood for answers, all in a case that's difficult for anyone to understand. At what point did things become so desperate and important that you were willing to fire into a house having no concern for what might happen? In Bradenton, Rob Wells, SNN Local News.